Well, hello again, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and I hope I find you well and in good health in these very difficult times that we are currently experiencing. Now, I've been raiding my video archives once more to showcase further examples of those older motocross classics from days gone by that I know you will just like and appreciate. So, I hope you'll stick around for the next few minutes as we check out some four stroke thumpers in the shape of the mighty HPF 500 Honda Twin Shockers. Now we're going to take a look at one or two examples of these HPF machines in this clip and we'll also try and show you some footage of one of these big four-stroke thumpers in action on the track later in the video. Now these very unique and quite rare machines are a custom-made motorcycle and these bikes were certainly not for the faint-hearted weekend racer. These were for you very serious motocrossers who wanted to win races. Now for our first machine we're going to take a look at Scottish rider Mark Kenny's HPF Honda and these clips were taken just a few weeks after Mark had uh, just recently purchased the bike. Now Mark up until he had bought this uh, HPF machine had ridden uh, two-stroke CR Hondas which he was very quick on and as far as I'm aware this was Mark's first ever big four-stroke machine. Now if like me and you don't know very much about these HPF Hondas then uh, just join the club because uh, don't assume for a second that I know everything about every bike because I don't and I'm constantly learning more about these kind of rarer machines as I research their history and background on their construction. Now as you would expect these machines are using a stock Honda XR500 engine although this motor then undergoes the HPF or Horse Power Factory Treatment from Malcolm McCassie. Now I'm not up to speed on exactly what Malcolm McCassie does to these standard motors but I have it from a good source that the head gets gas flowed, upgrades along with uh, upgraded valve springs and an exotic uh, upgraded race cam. Now the standard 500cc bore naturally undergoes reboring and a big bore cylinder kit is then added to pump up the horsepower and make this a quite formidable four banger lump when it takes to the track. But once Malcolm McCassie has worked his magic on these standard XR500 motors it turns them into a very potent machine. Now I apologise and I'm guessing here once again but I'm sure these HPFs had a pair of 43mm uh, Kayaba suspension units on the front which were excellent and uh, suited this big uh, four stroke Honda absolutely perfectly. Now without doubt you needed a steady hand on this uh, throttle gasser to keep those fiery HPF horses in their proper place. Now Mark's not superstitious as you can see and has been riding with this number 13 uh, on his bike ever since he started racing. But these big HPF Hondas are a brute of a bike no matter what angle you view them from, especially with that big lump of a motor taking up most of the space in the frame. Now as you would expect there's a decent little bark from this big uh, sizeable megaphone tailpipe when that big XR500 Honda gets fired up. Now a set of Olin piggyback rear suspension units would have been fitted to these bikes initially although I'm not entirely sure uh, what shocks are fitted here to Mark's machine but they certainly uh, look the goods and are of very high quality that's for sure but my guess is uh, that these are a pair of uh, Fox piggyback uh, suspension units but then again 
Don't quote me on that particular fact. Now the rear swing arm is uh, of course made from alloy and is extremely strong and uh, this uh, particular uh, swing arm looks like it's a works performance alloy swing arm which were uh, a very common fitment on many of these custom built uh, Honda HPFs. Now the original XR500's clutch in its standard trim is a decent unit and quite strong although HPF in their wisdom again changed the softer original springs for beefed up and stronger units as they thought that uh, the major increase in overall horsepower from that XR motor may cause the clutch to slip in extreme conditions. But in its stock trim this XR500 engine puts out about 36 horsepower with absolutely no modifications. Now after Malcolm McCassey and the HPF engineers have worked their magic on this engine and tuned the Honda motor it then puts out just short of 46 horsepower which is a substantial increase on the standard power output. Now you would think that after all the engine tuning and mods there would be a price to pay in terms of the engine's reliability but that appears not to be the case as there have been uh, virtually no cases of any of these HPF motors failing or having any reliability issues. But between the suspension system on these bikes and the uh, souped up Honda XR500 motor these are fantastic four-stroke machines and uh, as I said earlier these are not for the faint of heart. Now our second HBF machine is a bike I spotted at the Cumberland Grand National Scramble in 2018. Now I'm not sure who actually owned or rode the bike on the day but uh, this was just another HBF Honda cracker. Now as you can see these Honda HPFs have a good uh, set of long legs at the front and a good bit of travel at the rear which uh, brings me around to this enormous clearance at the back of this bike. Now uh, just look at this for suspension travel. You could just about uh, drive a car through that gap between the suspension and the back tyre. Now it would take some formidable bumps and jumps to bottom out the rear suspension on this machine, uh, that's for sure. Now the HPF's fuel tank as far as I'm aware is from a 450 Honda and uh, the accompanying uh, and very comfortable seat is uh, straight off a Honda CR250. Now I have it on uh, good authority that uh, these HPFs are absolutely fantastic machines to ride on the track with uh, absolutely limitless power from that uh, Malcolm McCassey tuned XR500 motor. Now just couple that with probably the best suspension system you could ever wish for on a twin shot motocross bike and you have a package that was almost unbeatable in terms of any potential challengers. Now, as I mentioned previously these are not readily available in uh, dealerships these HPF Hondas you basically have to order the bike and uh, wait on the machine being completed. Now twin leading shoes on the front of this machine and uh, this bike normally had enough stopping power to uh, hold up that big 500 uh, Honda motor but it's just an absolutely uh, gorgeous uh, piece of mechanical engineering these XR500 engines. Now these rear suspension systems on the second HPF Honda look uh, very similar to uh, Mark uh, Kenny's bike that we saw earlier but I'm almost sure that these are a pair of works performance shocks. Now these XR500 engines were of course a single cylinder but they had a twin exhaust port cylinder head with these two uh, lovely pipes which uh, eventually of course uh, mated up with this massive 
uh, megaphone exhaust system at the rear and uh, like I said earlier there is a, a fantastic brap comes from this uh, big megaphone exhaust and once again an almost identical uh, swing arm to uh, Mark Kenny's bike now as I said these are very strong swing arms and do the job perfectly Although if you were to put one of these HBF machines in the hands of a talented rider who knew how to ride one of these big four strokes then there's not uh, many big open class twin chokers that would get in their way. Now these HBF frames are designed and built by Jeff Cole of C&J Frames in the USA. Now these frames are made from uh, 4130 chrome molly steel and are extremely uh, strong. Now of course there's no bottom rail on these frames as the engine is used as a stress uh, member. But as you can see these Jeff Cole uh, C and J uh, Honda frames are of the very highest quality and the workmanship on uh, these frames is absolutely second to none. Of course the frame comes in a small kit with the engine mounting and uh, footrest uh, mounts as well. Now this uh, next HPF Honda was a bike I captured at Hoxton Park a few years ago and this particular machine was uh, Mark Sylvester's machine he rode on that weekend. Now we're back to uh, Farley Castle uh, a few years ago and this was one of the uh, superb HPF Hondas I spotted at the VETS MXD Nation event at uh, that fantastic Farley Castle track. But of course uh, it wasn't just this one HPF Honda that I managed to capture on the day. There was a whole uh, fleet of these beautiful HPF XR500 Honda bikes on display at the, I think this was the Twin Shock UK uh, riders stand. But an absolutely gorgeous collection of bikes and uh, quite rare to actually have three machines in the one place at the one time. Okay, we've talked a little bit about the bikes now. Uh, it just so happens I've been raiding my archives and I've come up with a little bit of uh, racing footage with uh, Gary Parker riding his HBF Honda at the Cumberland Grand National in uh, 2011. So let's just have a quick look at one of these bikes in action. And as you can see straight away Gary has uh, hit the front and got the whole shot on the HPF and it's already beginning to stretch its legs. Yeah. 
And so there you have it, something a bit different and interesting this time with a nice break from looking at a Michael or CZ for a change and that's Horsepower Factory's gorgeous HBF twin shock Hondas. Now I've still some nice machines waiting to be featured on my channel in the coming weeks and I know that everyone has much higher priorities in these very difficult times but I do hope you will continue to return to my channel or better still, subscribe. So until my next video posting, please continue to keep yourself safe until we can get out and about to do what we love doing best, racing classic dirt bikes. This video was brought to you in association with VMX Magazine, your number one publication for classic, vintage and off-road motorcycles. Just visit their online website for more information.